now the next topic is text properties the next property is what text properties or text tags okay the next topic is text properties so we are going to see text properties in text properties we have again sub options headings general text tags font properties paragraph properties text reverse so these are the sub topics in the text properties so text properties is the main thing in that these are the sections headings general tags font properties or font tag paragraph tags text reverse tag so these are the things we are going to see in the text properties okay now first we'll see headings first we'll see what headings i will save it as give any name headings dot html change the title so what is the thing we are going to see now headings heading tag see what are the headings how what are the properties we will see now so first h1 means heading 1 so in our web page we can take total six headings six types of headings the first one is h1 give any text welcome welcome to class or welcome simply i am typing welcome like this i will copy this one Two, three. So I have taken six. Now I am changing them. Here also you close them. H one to H six. So total we have six types of headings in the. web page save it open browser refresh so sorry we need to close this we need to open headings file see you are getting so we have taken so the first tag is h1 tag so when you see h1 this is the biggest heading we can take in the web page and h6 is the smallest heading we can take in the web page this is the decreasing order of the sizes of the tags now what are the properties in the heading tags we are going to see the first property is align means which is used to give alignment for the text so default alignment is left side now i can make it to center or right for example i am giving here center refresh see h1 is coming in the center of the page this one for heading to i will give right save see it is coming in the right side if you give left or don't give also it will come in the left only that's why i am not mentioning any the element left now for all headings what is the common thing means bold see when you observe carefully all headings are coming in bold another important common thing is i didn't give any break tag here see after every heading i didn't give any break tags but still 
they are coming line by line that means for all headings bold and break they will take automatically sizes will be different means h1 is the biggest h6 is the smallest but what are the common for all the headings bold and break these are the common properties so for headings we have only one property that is called alignment in html we can give only alignment for the heading if you want to give color for these headings you can give the body tag property text which we have seen or blue see here getting but all will come in the same color only because here if you give color that will come entirely same color that means entire text will come in the same color so what is the option we are having alignment so what are the alignments we can give left right center and another thing is bold and break are common bold and break are common properties for the headings and the next important thing is after bold and break the next important thing is h1 is the biggest h1 is the biggest our largest heading h6 is the smallest heading we can take in the web page so this is about alignments we can take in the web page this is about text properties in that headings this is the heading tags and what are the properties which we can give for the heading tags okay the next we are going to see about general text tags general text tags i am opening that file we'll remove this one what are the general text tags which we are going to give so in this section what we are going to learn general text properties or general text tags generally text tags means generally used text tags what are the generally used text tags the first is b b b means bold you give any text for example durga soft solutions close b save now here refresh see it is coming in bold the text is coming in normal size only but it is coming in bold that is a use of b tag next you give break if you don't give break it will not go to next line for only headings only it will go to next line for remaining tags compulsory we need to give break because for remaining tags break is not there for only headings bold and break are common so if i give break only it will go to next line b means bold instead of b i have one more tag called strong same tag i'm taking close strong see what will happen see it is also coming in the bold that means if we use b means bold strong also means bold so we have two tags to give boldness we can use any one i'll just copy this text next one is i i means italic i means what italic save here refresh see that is coming in italic style now previously bold now italic next i am giving break again to go to next line 
em em means emphasis emphasis means this also will come in the italic style only see so i also italic em also italic em stands for emphasis em stands for emphasis okay so for bold and italic we have two two tags next one is u close u and give break to go to next line save refresh see you are getting underline u means underline you will get underline for the text so whenever you use u you will get underline and the next one is s save refresh see s means strike the text will be striked or striken so i have given only till now individually that means either bold or italic or underline or strike i can give in a combination also for example i will give here i will opening bold opening italic opening underline i open the three i will give some text now for that text bold italic underline three styles will apply now now i need to close that one i need to close them so when you are closing the html tags when you take two three tags how to close them means inner tag should be closed in first means we need to close the tags from inner to outer that means first we'll close u because that is the inner tag after u i will close i after that i will close b to go to next line break is common save come here refresh see you are getting bold italic underline this is how we can give in a combination also okay next is big 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 tag give some text close big tag save refresh see the text will come in big size than the normal size and you see here the text size is bigger than the normal size i am giving again break to go to next line next is small paste close small tag again give break save it here refresh see the text is coming in smaller size than the normal size see it is coming in the smaller than the previous sizes see so big tag and small tag next is code code means the text will come in computer code style the font style of this one will be different from the normal because that will be in computer code style see when you zoom it you can understand clearly see for all the above styles we are having one common but for this one the font style is different see the last one the last one the font style is different because that is in different style okay this is about code computer code style and next one is for example h2 o is there chemical formula that two i should come in down but when you see here that is coming side only i should come in the down that means just like base for that we are going to use sub subscript close sub save refresh see h2 o subscript next like that only max formulas a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab like that i have given one formula save it that will come like that only no it will not come it will come in the same level now i should make them power like subscript we have sup superscript 
क्लोज एस यू पी सबस्क्रिप्ट सुपर स्क्रिप्ट दिस वन ऑल्सो एस यू पी सबस्क्रिप्ट सुपर स्क्रिप्ट एस यू पी एस यू पी सुपर स्क्रिप्ट सेव रिफ्रेश सी ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वेयर ए स्क्वेयर बी स्क्वेयर टू ए बी सी यू आर गेटिंग लाइक दैट मीन्स दैट इज सुपर स्क्रिप्ट सबस्क्रिप्ट टू गो टू नेक्स्ट लाइन आई एम गिविंग ब्रेक नेक्स्ट वन इज आई विल राइट लाइक दिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल नेम I am giving tab space, writing mobile. I am giving tab space, city. Enter. I am giving some dashes. In the name, I am writing some name. In mobile, I am writing some mobile number. In city. I am getting. I am writing some city. Like that, I will give some three details. Like this, I am giving some details. I am again giving dashes. Save. So I have written like this in web page. It will come like that only. No, it will not come like that. See, refresh. See, it is coming. No, it is not coming like that. If you write in next line, it will not come in next line. If you give space, it will not come there. So if you, I want to get like this exactly in the output, how many breaks I should give? How many spaces I should give? so that is waste of time for that to rectify this purpose they have given one tag called pre before text open pre after text close pre before text you open after text you close pre pre means pre formatted text that means whatever the format or whatever the design we have taken same in the design only it will come in the output save it here you refresh the page see exactly how we have taken exactly like that only it is coming this is the general text tags that means these are the generally available text properties which we can give in the web page this is about general text tags bold italic underline strike big small code subscript superscript and finally pre whatever format you create in that format only it will come so these are the general text properties or general text tags after general text tags next we will see font tag in the title also font tag properties or font tag so what are the or what is the use of font tag and what are the properties for that one we'll see open font close font in that font tag you take any text in that you can take any text now refresh see did you are getting any styles no that means if you take just font tag you are not going to get any styles you will get normally only how you type like that normally only you are getting for that text if you want to give styles we need to give properties in the font tag the first property for the font tag is size size i am giving 
that is the last size which we can give for the text in the web pages using html using html refresh see this is the maximum size we can give if you give more than 7 also it will not take it will take 7 only for example i will take 10 now save so it is like this now i am refreshing it is changing no i am refreshing the page see but it is not changing see i am refreshing but it is not changing because in web pages in html 7 is the last size beyond that you cannot take in the html for that we need to use css again save it refresh so this is the last size now i'll give less see the size is decreasing so 7 is the last size which we can take in the web page this is the last size which we can take in the web pages next one is color red see the text is color coming in the red color the text is coming in the red color i am getting the text this is the color option the next option is face face means it is used to give font styles by default it is coming in times new roman style i want to change the text style now uh, i need to give that in the face face is used to give the text styles hmm. how to give text styles in notepad you have format in that you can go to font in that you have your font names among that you can take any name you want for example i want this style this name is there now you just copy that name you close it you paste that name here save now you refresh here see automatically what is happening the text is changing that to the style i will decrease the size of this one little bit i will make it normal average four okay now i will put this in the center of the page so generally to put the text in the center in headings we use align now we already used that align option in the heading tag now if i use that same align option here in the font tag save it and refresh are you getting in the center no because for the font tag this align option will not work align option will be working only for the headings only for the font tag for the font tag we cannot give alignment that's why we cannot take alignment for this font so to make the font text in the center they have given a separate tag called center tag only close center tag save it here refresh see now it is coming in the center now i will increase the size little bit i will make it 5 see the text size is increased little bit if you want more 6 refresh see like this you can increase the size so i have given in the center of the page now so we have only center tag only we don't have any right tag if you use center tag whatever you write inside that center tag that will come automatically in the center of the page like this okay and next thing i want to give underline for this font tag means for this text i want to give underline just now we have seen underline tag what is underline tag u if you give u you will get underline here you close u save it come here refresh see you are getting the underline there now you can see the underline option underline for the text but that underline is coming same color what we have given for the text that same color only it is coming but underline is also coming in little bit thin i want to increase the thickness of the line I want to give different color for the underline it is not possible because for underline tag we don't have any styles if you give underline it will come 
it will come like this only okay that's why so what i will give instead of underline there is another tag which that we can give line also that is called hr what is the tag name hr hr means horizontal line save it refresh see now you are getting one horizontal line we simply call it as horizontal ruler if i use this horizontal line i am going to get a horizontal line there now in that i will give styles the first option is size 5 color i will give blue color now for this line i am getting blue color the line thickness is also increased to 5 if you want more thickness you can give more size for example 10 save it here refresh see the line thickness is still increase so like this you can increase the thickness i am just giving 5 now here refresh see this is the line thickness you are getting and next one is width default it will get entire screen now i am giving width is equal to some 400 save it now you refresh now you will get only up to 400 width only if you want to increase you can increase i am making it 500 now the line thickness or line width will increase so these are the horizontal line or horizontal ruler these are the properties which we can give for the horizontal ruler so this is about font tag properties so when you see the font tag you have color size face face means the font styles how you can you get the font styles in format you can pick the font styles whatever the style you want you can pick that style copy that style to paste the style here i will delete this one instead of that i will paste save it here refresh see rec style is changed automatically so this is about font tag properties next we will see paragraph next we are going to see about paragraph tag or paragraph properties so in web pages we have paragraphs paragraph means more than single line if you have any text which is having more than single line that is called as paragraph p p is the tag which is used to take paragraphs open p close p in between we will take some text you can take text from the help i'll just copy some text here i will paste so this is one paragraph now save it save here refresh see that is coming paragraph it is coming normally without any styles now for that paragraph we'll give styles i will give font tag i will give some size some four say refresh see the size has been increased next if you want more you can give more size see this is a bigger size now we can give color also color i will give green say see the text is coming in green color the next option is alignment center refresh see the text is coming in the center of the page to understand that i will remove some text now you refresh see 
the text is coming in the center left and right is not equal now i'll give right alignment right side of the page is equal left side is unequal and the next alignment we can give for the paragraph and this is the mostly used alignment in the web page that is justify justify means left to plus right left will be equal and right side also it will be equal so if you zoom in zoom out also the alignment will not go okay like this we can give the alignment so this is that mostly used alignment in the web page so 99% we use justify alignment only for the paragraph because if you give justify the text will look properly left and right in equal size so this is the properties which we can give for the paragraph tag so and last text properties are printing text in reverse direction text reverse dot html how to print the text in reverse direction now we'll see how can you print the text in reverse order or reverse direction first i will write one text example anything some text i have written save it refresh see that is coming in normal direction only now before the tag i am going to use bdo tag after the text i will close save here refresh nothing will happen because just opening the tag is not sufficient if you open the tag it will not come in re reverse direction in that tag we are going to have properties so first is what is bdo bdo means bi directional object bi directional object that means we can change the direction of the text that's why it is called bi directional object so with this bi directional object tag we are going to make reverse just taking tag is not sufficient we need to use one more property called dir dir means direction the default direction is ltr means left to right see nothing will happen now also it will be like this only now i will make it reverse means r t l right to left now it will be reverse now we need to read like this in reverse order you need to read it then only you can understand if you can take a simple text hello see if you read reverse it will be understand see hi chi l l o it will mean reverse direction so this is a simple tag which is used to print the text in reverse direction so bdo so it is meaning of bdo bi directional object dir means direction ltr left to right rtl right to left so we are reversing the direction from right to left we need to read in reverse direction now so this is the text reverse tag how to print the text in reverse direction like this it will print in the reverse direction this is about text to properties